what's happening mystery seekers so I am heading to the post office I got stickers to mail out thank you all for your continued support and uh, special thanks to Michael Johnson for introducing me to David Allen and his ideas about um, time management or rather focus management um, man these I've been watching some of his TED talks and this guy's just got some amazing ideas I will, uh, I will definitely link those in the description for those of you who are interested in learning more about time management, or I guess focus management rather. So today's going to be a good day. It's hot out. It's what? How hot is it? Let's see. 99 degrees. I probably won't get too much done on the van. I think I'm going to spend the first uh, two hours cleaning up the garage because if you've been watching my, uh, my build videos, it is a disaster in there. It is such a mess. So I need to just get in the zone and like hyper focus on it. I'm really good at that. So man, it's crazy that watching that TED talk last night, or one of them anyway. I've been uh, I've been struggling with these two different paths. One is like the spiritual path of like total peace and contentment and allowing everything. And I thought that that was totally separate from the uh, the path of accomplishing things and. You know making enough money to do the things you want to do you know and, and uh, kind of the entrepreneur path those are the two paths I've been struggling with and I thought that they were kind of opposing forces they couldn't they couldn't really coexist and I thought that I'd be able to blend them but I thought it would have to be like I'd have to be in one mode or the other and that they couldn't uh, they couldn't both exist at the same time but this guy totally made me realize that part of um, being an entrepreneur is managing stress and being happy and being present while you're doing everything and I've got the presence down I said in my last video that I figured out how to be and how to be myself but that wasn't the complete truth because I didn't figure out how to do and be at the same time so this is huge for me this is huge breakthrough I'm so excited about this so check out that TED talk it's really really cool and I went the wrong way to go to the post office because I was so excited about what I was talking about so I'm gonna turn around Illegal U-turn! I played it smart this time. I don't know why I keep going to the post office and I bought a bunch of stamps. So now I don't have to drive to the post office. Or this is a, it's a postal annex. It's not actually a post office. But uh, yeah, now I can just mail out stickers from mailboxes. It's much smarter. So I have a new shared dream with my girl. Uh, we've been talking and we want to get a... Uh... Whoa! That dude just dropped his welder. So this battery charger just fell out of the back of this guy's truck. I think I'm gonna stay here for a few minutes and see if he comes back for it. Man, I don't, I wish I would've gotten a picture of his license plate or something. Ugh. This thing's hardcore, look at this. See, I'll chill out and wait and see if this guy comes back. And then, uh, Maybe I'll stick this thing on Craigslist if he doesn't. All right, so uh, that guy didn't come back. I waited for about five minutes and went inside the shipping place and wrote a little note and taped it up to the wall out here. And uh, if he comes back looking for it, I left my phone number, so I'll give it back to him. If I don't hear back in a couple days, I guess I'll just sell it on uh, Craigslist. Because I have really no way to contact the guy. He took off so fast that uh, I didn't get to see his license plate at all. So that sucks for him, man. That thing looks expensive. It broke the wheels off, but that's about it. Um, yeah, maybe I'll maybe I'll have some crazy synchronicity and see him parked on the side of the road or something. So new shared dream with my girl. Um, man, I got to turn on AC. It is hot. But let me tell you what. This I had the windows cracked and the roof fan on, the fantastic fan, and it blow. You can feel the air blowing through this thing. It's amazing. So yeah, new shared dream, finally getting to the point, right? Sorry. Um, we want to get a badass um, uh, word expedition vehicle, like a Unimog, like one of those big badass like military trucks that has like a super intense like badass RV body on the back. They can go absolutely anywhere and uh, travel the world in that. And just have it shipped around continent to continent. You know, explore the Australian bush and explore, uh, I'm looking out for that truck as I drive, explore like Africa and Asia and 
South America, you know, all these badass places. Uh, these vehicles are just so tough and so intense and so incredible off-road to go absolutely anywhere and they're, they're designed to be live completely off-grid for like months at a time. So you can go months living off-grid. They they're so big that they have uh, plenty of storage for water. Stealth is out the window. It is totally out the window. There is no stealth, but I won't need it because we'll be off-road most of the time anyway, which is just killer, man. We're both really, there's that truck. Oh, all these speed bumps. Dang, dude, I'm trying to find this guy. I want to give his thing back. Um, yeah, they're just designed to be like off-grid all the time. So I'm going to start, uh, I'm gonna start working on survival skills and I wanna learn I wanna learn about how to live off the land and I know that every area is different so you can't like just learn how to live off the land. You have to learn how to live off the land in specific areas and specific environments, which is crazy. Um, but yeah, I wanna start working on that. I wanna start camping a lot more and getting used to being in the wilderness, but we're both really psyched about this, really pumped about it. It's it's gonna be amazing. Well, hopefully he goes back to that uh, parking lot and sees that sign I left him. That sucks, man. That thing looks expensive. That really sucks for him. But yeah, so that's that's my dream. The sailboat thing is um, the purpose of that was to be able to travel the world, and I I just love this van thing so much that I think an expedition vehicle is the next like really big step. They're expensive. They start at $100,000. So I've I've got to up the game and uh, figure out some ways to make money, but I am in this entrepreneurial thing to uh, to win it. So that shouldn't be too hard and I'm learning so many skills that it's not out of reach. It may seem like it right now cuz I'm struggling to have enough gas and stuff to be able to travel in this little Astro van, but it's not out of reach, so I'm gonna use that Dream Planner thing and I'm gonna break it down into, into steps and eventually get there. Who knows Woo! how long it'll take, but we'll see. You'll see. You guys will all see. Keep watching this channel. You'll, you'll see it. it's gonna happen. Woo! All right, let's check this thing out. This is like an industrial battery charger, man. Crazy. Actually, well, this wheel is a little broken. This one's not, the rubber just came off. I got the other rubber piece though. Yeah, this thing looks expensive, man. Jeez. Hopefully the guy calls me and uh, comes and picks it up. I, it sucks to lose this thing, it looks really expensive. I'm gonna go look it up and see what it's worth, but if he doesn't, I guess uh, sell it on Craigslist, like I said. So I'm gonna clean up the solar panel because I realized that my battery wasn't fully charged usually oh now it is that's because I've been running it though usually when I leave it out in the sun just for a couple hours it fully charges the battery so I'm gonna clean up the solar power real quick I'll show you how to do that so wh what I use for cleaning windows is this invisible glass this stuff leaves no streaks and uh, it just cleans up glass really well what I do is I spray it down and I wipe it off with this paper towel and then I crinkle up some newspaper and dry it off with that I, I found that that leaves a really nice um, finished finish to it and I mounted this uh, this solar panel in such a way that I could easily clean it from the uh, from the inside of the van now because it's so hot out here this is gonna dry really fast so I gotta hurry to so just wipe it down light pressure don't push it in because there's lots of dirt and stuff on here it's pretty hard to scratch solar panels but scratching them is definitely a bad thing so boom, there's that. And I like to wear sunglasses because I'm really paranoid about getting chemicals in my eyes. And if a, uh, if a breeze comes along, see it's already too dry. If a breeze comes along and blows the stuff in your eye, it can mess it up pretty bad. So this newspaper part is just a really light touch. Depending on how much and where I drive, um, I usually only have to do this about once a week. But when this thing's totally clean, it definitely makes a big difference. So right now, I'm extremely slowly heading to the Walmart. It's uh, the start of rush hour and there's construction out here, so it's going really slow. Um, but I need to get double-sided sticky tape for the LED strip lights. I need to get 
uh, some kind of L bracket or some kind of bracket to mount the cigarette cigarette lighter adapter and USB port triple thing that I have. And I need to get a curtain for the back, for the back two windows. And then those will be set. I'll probably actually like install and do those tomorrow, but I might later tonight when it cools off. Um, and then I wanna, I wanna put like just like a good solid hour, maybe two hours, but I'm, I'm committing to an hour of just solid working on that garage, cleaning that thing out, because it is just a disaster, and I gotta have that done before I take off. So getting a jump start on that is, is really good. And then it's pretty much just cleaning up the wires in this thing and packing. I still gotta do the floor in the front area. I gotta pull the seats out and put that in. And uh, this van's pretty close to being done. I was just looking at some of the shots from earlier uh, before I took off. And man, a lot of them I was like out of frame. I was like, Argh. I gotta get that 70D, man. And it's not just for the flip out screen, it's also the autofocus system that they have is incredible. You can actually leave it on continuous autofocus so you can move back and forth and closer to the camera and it'll perfectly follow you. Canon has that dual pixel, dual pixel autofocus system that's just unreal plus they have magic lantern which when I can see the screen and I can see that it's recording I can see that I'm in frame I can see I'm in the right position in the frame and I can see my volume levels and know that my volume is one that my mic is even on and two what my volume levels are that will improve my audio that will improve my video that will improve everything and there's been so many times where I had to redo takes on the on the camera because I, I didn't know it wasn't recording or I was out of frame and a lot of times I only have like one shot to get to get the shot. Like it's not a, uh, it's not like I always have. I'm, I'm always able to redo it a bunch of times because it was out of focus or uh, I wasn't in frame. Come on, dude, you're eating your pizza. Light's been green for a while. Um, I do have road rage, by the way. And Oregon people, it's strange, dude. Like on the East Coast, as second that light turns green, everybody's honking. Come on, jackass! You know all this stuff. But in Oregon, people just poke around, man. It's like, what is going on? It's so strange. Oregon drivers are a different breed, man. All right, got the goods. Now I'm good to go. I am out. I don't know what it is with Walmart and people yelling at their kids, but it really irritates me. All right, so I was just reviewing my footage and it looks like uh, I wasn't recording the whole trip back from uh, Walmart, which is unfortunate, but um, I think that when I get to Salem, instead of like just paying off my credit card debt, I'm just gonna bite the bullet and get the 70D. Uh, it's gonna be like 1200 bucks, it's gonna be a lot of money, but it's gotta happen. The autofocus is broken on this lens now, which really sucks because it's like a $500 lens and it's not that old. Um, but without autofocus, I used to be able to just reach back and push the button and it would focus on my face and then I knew I was in focus. And then uh, hopefully it's still in live mode and live mode didn't shut off and I could just hit the record button and I'm good to go. But uh, like I said, having that flip out screen, knowing my audio is on, knowing I'm in frame, knowing I'm in, knowing I'm in focus, being able to step back from the camera and still be in focus and then move forward and still be in focus is just a huge, huge deal. With this uh, daily vlogging stuff, it's it's all on the fly, man. It's 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 I'm recording it as it's happening. I don't have time to sit and mess with the focus and to make sure everything's right. And there's just been so many times where uh, I've I've lost so many shots because it's a it's a guessing game with this thing. Uh, the video quality when it's in focus and everything is phenomenal on this camera, though. I love this camera. It's great for photography. I'm definitely keeping it for photography and a B cam for uh, for the tours. Having two cameras also step step up my tours quite a bit too. So this situation is where I'm at now. Um, most of the stuff is not mine. My stuff's all like on the in the front and on the top of everything. So I think what I'm gonna do tonight is break down my stuff and get all of my stuff in a pile and go through what I need to throw away, what I what I can donate, what I can keep, and uh, just, just get it all separated that way. And I'm just gonna do that tonight. I'm gonna do the whole thing right now. So I got a new patron, uh, Lady Ember. Thank you so, so, so much. Your support is so appreciated. So I will see you guys tomorrow with a video all about something very specific to do with starting and um, excelling with the YouTube channel. So love yourself, woo!